Who are we? What do we want to do? We are an innovative partner mobilized to share hope wherever there is hardship. Building communities that are just and know the love of Jesus. We're nearly done our vision statement. We're on our second last piece. But before we begin today, let's review a little bit of what we learned already. So if you could comment below all the phrases, go right ahead and try. But just in case you forget, which is okay, we're gonna review them now. So we are an innovative partner mobilized to share hope wherever there are hardships. And we're adding a new piece today that says building communities that are just. So this is our new piece and I'm gonna put it right down here. So, let's do a game. So I have a couple treats here and I think I'm gonna give them away this morning. Is that okay with you guys? Good. So, the first treat I'm gonna give away is this box of Smarties. And there's probably enough in here that I could maybe come around to everyone's houses and give them one Smartie. Um, but I think it might be easier, or just less of a hassle maybe, to just give this to the tallest person in our church. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna write that down to remind myself. Tallest person. And I will put that aside. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give that to the tallest person in our church. Now I have this can of Pepsi. So, I mean, I got this from a box of like maybe 24 Pepsis, and I could bring them around to all you guys so you all can have a Pepsi and we can all have it together, but maybe I'll just give the Pepsi to the person who can run the fastest in our church. Yeah, that sounds like a better idea to me. So, fastest, fastest person. I'll give them this Pepsi. In fact, I'll give them all the Pepsi. So I'll keep that note there, just in case, so I remember that I'm giving it to them. And I have one more treat here. And, I mean, this is a pretty big bag. I know that it has a bunch of little individual chocolates in it. So, I mean, I could give them out to everyone. just gonna give it to the oldest person that goes to our church so they can have a great treat. Yeah, there we go. I'll just write a note to myself to make sure to check and see who's the oldest and they can get these treats. So, what do you think? Do you think that I did a good job dividing this to make sure that uh, everything was just? Mm. It didn't really seem like that was the right way that we should divide stuff, hey? Did it really feel good and fair the way that I chose to do that? What about the fact that there definitely was enough that I could share all this stuff with you guys, but only a couple people got something today. And, they're most likely just adults in the church, not even the kids, even though this is kids' time. It didn't feel fair at all, did it? We can call this injustice, or that we weren't just 
and giving out our treats today. So to be not just means not fair, not right, or not good. So sometimes that's what it can be like in our communities too, and really our entire world. There may be enough to go around, but we don't always share it very good, hey? We don't always treat everyone fairly and kind, the way that really Jesus would treat everyone. That's not the kind of communities that Jesus would want us to have. He wants our communities to be just, to be fair and right and good, because that's how God is. He wants us to share life together so that everyone in a community can succeed. He wants us to treat others with love, dignity, and respect. Listen to what the Bible says about us contributing to building a community in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17. It says, learn to live right. See that justice is done. Defend widows and orphans and help those in need. Let's think of some ways that we can help build just communities in the next few days. Please feel free to comment your ideas below so that we can all have ideas. Now, I think it would only be right if I share these treats with everyone, hey? So I think I'm gonna be intentional, and if you want a treat, you send me an email or a message, and I would love to bring you a treat. But to think about our lesson for today, each of us is a part of a community where we live, play, go to school, worship, and share life with others. When we live the way that Jesus would want us to and treat others the way that he would, we will be equipped and prepared to do our part to build just communities. So I've put our last circle down here, which hopefully you can see once I move all this stuff. And we're now going to pray over building just communities. God, thank you for the gift of the people in our communities. Help us to see them the way that you do and look for good in everyone we meet. Help us to share what we have and treat people fairly and kindly the way that Jesus would. Help us to live right, love justice, and to help those in need. Amen. Bye, everybody.